We have a reaction tonight to that disturbing video we aired last night that shows rampant prostitution on the streets of Barrio Logan. Welcome back. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. And I'm Jesse Pagan. News 8's David Gofferton talked with an advocate who helps women break free from the prostitution cycle. Just a reminder, the content of this story is for mature viewers. You know, some people will say it's the oldest profession in the world. No, it's the oldest oppression in the world, not profession. Marisa Ugarte has spent more than two decades helping women who sell their bodies to survive. The most horrible way of surviving. And yes, you may have a 3% or a 2% that are comfortable doing that, but not the rest. Ugarte runs the Bilateral Safety Corridor Coalition in National City, providing counseling and safe shelters to women on the streets. And she has this message for the men who pick up prostitutes and pay for sex. You will be arrested, your wife will find out, and you may catch gazillion diseases. You are contributing to human trafficking. You may not realize it, and you may have a teenage daughter that may be recruited. Ugarte saw News 8's video showing prostitutes and Johns hooking up in broad daylight along Dalbergia Street in Barrio Logan, right across Main Street from 32nd Street Naval Station. She says more police on the streets can stop it. Look what happened when the guy saw the police right behind him. I almost laughed because it was such a quick reaction. Okay, the girl jumps out and he's gone. The problem is solicitation of prostitution is a misdemeanor and law enforcement has limited resources. You need a babysitter on those streets 24-7. There's not enough manpower or the funds to provide that type of monitoring on a place. And she worries about the next generation of young women being recruited. For every one girl that you buy, three more come into the industry that are children. Ugarte also wants people to know about a bill making its way through Sacramento, SB 357 that would decriminalize loitering for the purposes of prostitution. Her group is opposed to that bill and also any effort to decriminalize prostitution because she says it would benefit the sex trafficking industry. Carlo? David, I appreciate the way Ugarte said that, the world's oldest oppression. How can women reach out for help to break free of sex trafficking? The Bilateral Safety Corridor Coalition has a website, a Facebook page, and a national hotline that people can call. We've posted links at CBS8.com. David Gofferson reporting live. Thanks, David.